want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. That's Nene Marie 37. Yo! It's your boy Trench News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to my channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the real mod squad, man. If you ain't following my mods, make sure you follow their ads at the end of the video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside to give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless, man. And with that being said, um, happy Sunday to everybody. Hope everybody ate. Hope everybody's safe, man. We have a five-year-old that was killed this weekend, man. This shit is unacceptable, man. Nobody shouldn't be, they, they should have a choice of whether they want to live or go out. You know, just like these kids that's out here, 13, 14, that's out here killing, bro. They should have a choice, bro. Shouldn't nobody be egging them on because you don't want to do what you want to do. But with that being said, man, this is what happened to Trey Savage, man. Trey Savage, y'all might know him as Chief Keef Affiliate, but I know Trey Savage from the area of brain dead noodle knockers, man. The brain dead area. 82nd in Maryland, 81st in Maryland, 83rd in Maryland. All about a little gas station and all that. That's why I know little Trey Savage for. And actually, this guy who in this article who killed Trey, uh, who killed Trey Savage, um, he was one of the people that was out there when they upped on me. For Dutchie, when we came from Dutchie Crib, and he was one of the ones that was out there who was talking shit about young them ops and that they ain't supposed to be over there. I told that story, but this is what happened to Trey Savage, man. Man charged with killing Chicago rapper Trey Savage after identified in a video of the shooting. In a video of shooting. Okay. A man has been charged with last year's killing of Trey Savage, a rapper signed to Chiefs Keith record label after he was extradited to Chicago from Texas. Investigators identified Dimitri Jackson as the gunman from surveillance video that shows him walking with a distinctive limp before and after killing Savage, whose real name was Ken Trey Young, Cook County prosecutors said in a court document. Prosecutors then offered a motive for the June 2019 shooting, saying only two the two were affiliated with the same gang faction and spoke briefly 15 minutes before the shooting in the 8100 block of South Evans. That's the block that they upped on me on, man. That's where Dutchie Mama and them live, used to live at. Jackson, 20, returned in the car, um, got out and interacted again with Young, 26, as he sat in another car with his girlfriend. Prosecutor said Jackson went to his car and moved into the middle of the street. Blocking Young's car. He then stepped out and started shooting, prosecutor said. Young struck in the neck and showed the crash into a parked car. Prosecutor said he died at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Jackson sped off down the alley in a white Mazda, which police found the next day burned in the alley in the 84th place in Ellis, prosecutor said. Police had several previous run-ins with Jackson, including the shooting in 2018 that wounded Jackson in the ankle, leaving him with a distinctive limp, prosecutor said. Video from the convenience store before the shooting shows Jackson face uncovered while he enters the white Mazda. Prosecutor said otherwise, other surveillance video shows the killing, as well as Jackson driving to 84th and Ellis and walking with a limp, distinctive limp clothing. Um, prosecutor said members of the Chicago Police Department who knew Jackson identified him from the surveillance photos, which also showed a unique skin imperfection on Jackson's shoulder. Prosecutor said Jackson was arrested April 23rd in Fort Worth, Texas. Prosecutor said he was ordered hell Sunday without bail on one count of first degree murder. Young was associated rapper Chief Keith, a part of um, Keith's Glow Gang collection of recording artists. He was known for his 2013 collaboration with Keith, Chief and Keith. And that's 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 the um report on Trey Savage. Now I can tell y'all they from the same block. They hung together on Maryland and everything, man. This one shit, but Trey Savage. Trying to get his money back that he put the guy on. You know what I'm saying? He loaded him up. He hustling for him while he out of town. That's how you do your homies. You put your homie on. But instead he paying that little money to him. You know what I'm talking about? He thought it was better off that Trey Savage was dead, bro. And then he still got caught. This the thing about it. He killed him, right? 
The police knew who did it. Soon he did it. Because, look, they done pulled him over in this white Mazda before. They shot him in the ankle, so they know this the nigga who we shot in the ankle already. This how he got that limp. We know that limp for everywhere. Then the police ride around in, in, in your neighborhood all day. Hey, look, they get to know you like a family member. If you seeing somebody every day, every day for eight hours, bro, you seeing a motherfucker every day. For 10 years, 12 years, bro. You know them. Only only, only barrier it is is that they cops. So motherfucker be like, they, they the cops. But I bet you if you seen them on vacation or somewhere, or somewhere outside or out of bounds of life, you would talk to him like he a regular human. You know what I'm saying? But the police had um, um testified and everything on them. They ain't even need no witnesses or none of that shit. Now, helping a friend out. That's where it gets you, man. That's why they always say, man, family and friends, don't mix business with that shit, man, because it might come with some other shit, man. And some people, they rather get you gone instead of paying you some of it back or paying you in increments. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I, if I owe you $10,000, let me give you $1,000 a week or something. You know what I'm talking about? Or shit, let me give you some a day or something, you know? And, and you can stop fucking with me too, but I'm going to pay you back. It ain't worth that life. But to kill your friend, bro, over some bullshit like that, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. And they grew up together like this. Ain't no niggas who he just met him two years ago. Nah, bro. Them niggas came up together. It was on some, it was on some, I ain't paying you shit on that thing. The man called Trey, the thing about it too, is he called Trey Savage over there. He called him over there and talked to him. Then... He called him back as if he was going to get him the money. And that's the second time when they when they saying in a, in a video that, you know, I'm talking about the shooting. Trey Savage, I don't know nothing about who he killed or none of that or uh, none of that, bro. I know him as a smooth motherfucker. Like I said, when FBG Young them stayed over there in 2013 and we got into it. I got into it with them. We ain't getting into it with. They ain't getting into it with us. I, well, they got into it with us, and I got into it with them. Ain't nobody come outside the young crib and stand up with me as if like like I like if it we it was they block. They all stayed in the crib. I was out there by myself arguing with the BDs. You know what I'm saying? Then I walked Dutchie home. This motherfucker who killed Trey Savage, the same motherfucker. He the one who was with them when they upped on me. Dutchie going to crib. Dutch, I, I, I shake Dutch, shake, shake Dutchie hand and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, all right, bro, I'll see you tomorrow. Dutchie getting the crib, bro. Soon when Dutchie closed the door, bro, and I opened the gate, bro, to leave out Dutchie gate, bro, they emerged like fucking Ninja Turtles, bro. All the little motherfuckers with no masses on or nothing, bro. And he was one of them, bro. And, and I, I was trying to explain to him before I took off running that, you know, y'all don't even know them. How's they your ops and they from 63rd? They be in tour with the guys and all that shit. Damn, they'll put my life on the line for some motherfuckers who disrespect me now. You know what I'm talking about? That's crazy, man. But yeah, y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think, man. Hey, trust. Hey, look, man. If you got a business or anything going on good, man, and you been rocking out by yourself or however you been doing it, Keep it that way, bro. Anything extra, man, uh, probably will make you lose your shit. Family will definitely make you lose your shit. I mean, you can have a family member working the register, your shit coming up short, and then they'll be like, I told you I was going to pay it back next week. Nah, it ain't about paying you back next week. It's the principle that you even went in the motherfucking drawer and even had the nerve to take it. What made you take it? Because they your family. That's what they going to say. And that's what friends. Friends going to say that. Man, why you tripping, bro? You with Keith. You staying out of town. You, you, you driving in. You driving in foreign whips. You know what I'm saying? They make every excuse to think about why they fucked up your money. And, and then you got to borrow your shit back. That's the only thing I hate. When you got to borrow it back. That's why I just say, if I, if I get somebody something, I don't, need, I don't want it back. You can just keep it. You got to learn to take a loss. You know what I'm talking about? Because it could backfire. Either way, it could go. Now you want to kill them or now they want to kill you. And most of the times it'd be the person want to kill the other person for, for they fuck ups or they downfalls. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even approach it by nobody. I'm pretty sure Trey, Trey Savage was the type of person that if he would have just been honest with him, like, man, bro, I ain't going to need a lie, bro. You was out of town and I blew that shit. Trey Savage would have been like, all right, bro, hey, I'm going to give you something else. Just knock that off and, and get my money and you still can eat. 
They could have been eating forever. You know what I'm talking about? Trey Savage out of town in Cali. And you in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? He come back. You give him his money. Y'all doing this shit for, for, for a couple of months and or or some a year or two. And then you fucking back though your boy, man. You fucking back though your boy, man. Hey, I know a lot. I know motherfuckers who I, I, I just met three years ago who I trust more than any motherfucker who I knew all my life, man. And that's just the way it is. Hey, y'all, I want to stop man, what y'all doing. Hey, man, let's give a moment of silence to Sparks Visual, man. We praying for you, brother. Um, y'all keep praying for Sparks, man. And if you got anything tonight, I'm going to put up the cash app, his cash app for his family. And y'all make sure y'all send whatever y'all can to his family, man. Um, Sparks need us all right now. He need us all in our prayer, man. Shout out to the Mod Squad, man. Y'all keep y'all head up. I love y'all. I will be live later, man. This is the Trey Savage story, man. It's sad, but it's real, man. Trust none, man. You'll live.